Okay, I'm here so. with uh, Dr. Steve Giddings, it's Roger Muller, uh, sometimes we report for Lionfish University at lionfishdivers.com. Uh, Dr. Giddings, who do you work for? Oh, I work for NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Okay. A small program inside NOAA called the National Marine Sanctuary Program. Hey. But I also do some side work with the folks that uh, focus on lionfish removals, Lionfish University, Coast Watch Alliance, and others who are working on this problem outside of NOAA. Cool, so uh, what are you doing with your uh, traps? So I've been working on trying to develop traps that will help collect lionfish from deep water. Uh, we all know that how good spearfishing is in shallow water getting lionfish, even in controlling their abundances to the point where it's protecting the na native species. But in deep water, nobody's collecting lionfish except occasionally in, in lobster traps and other traps uh, where you can get lionfish as bycatch. Uh, but we're trying to develop lionfish-specific traps that only catch lionfish and not other species. And we've been doing that for the last four or five years, trying to come up with a design that would open when it hits the bottom and present a attraction device that would pull lionfish in and have them accumulate around the trap and then when you pull the trap up, you pull up all the lionfish that are surrounding it. Lionfish are heavily attracted to structure, so all you have to do is present them with some structure, and they'll come to it. What's the uh, most lionfish you've pulled up in a trap? Well, I think we've pulled up a couple dozen at the most I've seen around uh, accumulating around the trap. So when you close the trap around them, about a couple dozen might be collected. But usually you get fewer than that. It really all depends on how close the trap is to the source reef. Uh, how long are the traps left? On the bottom, the, we, lionfish come to the trap pretty soon, within hours even. Okay. Um, and they can accumulate around that trap over a couple days and be. But how long do you normally leave up. a trap down? We've found that they kind of saturate after about a week. Week. Okay. So after a week, you're unlikely to get any more than you're going to get in a couple of few, few days. And what's the deepest depth that you put traps at? The, well, we've been mostly just doing the scientific testing on the okay. traps so far. So they've been in roughly. 100 to 150 feet of water or so, but they're really designed to go deeper than that from 150 down to 300 or so. That's where we're going to get a lot of live fish in deeper water. Uh, how do you get the uh, traps back up when they're down 300 feet? A couple ways. We're not really sure how the commercial people will fish the traps, but uh, you can have an individual float going from every trap back up to the surface. That's a little we hesitate to do that because the waves at the surface tend to move the trap. So you'd like to have a whole string of traps put together, tied together, and then have one line go to the surface and pull the traps up to the, one after the other up to the surface. Okay, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. You're welcome. This is Roger Muller with Dr. Steve Giddings, and we are in Destin, Florida at the uh, Emerald Coast Lionfish Tournament, and they have the uh, weigh-in in like one minute, so it's perfect timing. Oh no, that's our timing on the camera. Uh, okay.